All right, now, I was a pretty good kid in school. I, uh, I didn't get into too much trouble, just kind of minded my own business most of the time. But I did get suspended in high school once. I was a junior, and I was in my sixth hour class. Mrs. Stapola's Design and Color. It was a painting class that, uh, focused on, well, it focused on design and color, I guess. Obviously, I didn't pay too much attention because, uh, here I am, drawing crap hole stick figures for the internet. I'm no Michelangelo, painting the Sistine Chapel, that's for sure. So I'm sitting there, just making a mockery of whatever project we're working on, and I'm a complete mess. I got, like, white paint all over my pants, like I was an odd one out of a bukkake. And there was this girl sitting next to me, Kayla, and she was staring at the mess that I made on my pants. Now, I thought she was just staring at my booty, my, uh, my derriere, the old caboose, if you will. So naturally, I said, Kayla, stop staring at my ass. And right when I said it, the teacher, from all the way across the goddamn room, she's like, excuse me! My head pops up. There's no way she's talking to me, right? How the hell did she hear me? What, does she got a goddamn buffalo horn held up to her head, picking up the subtlest of frequencies like a Soviet spy? What the hell? Excuse me, what did you say? Uh, I said, Kayla, stop staring at my ass. I said it proudly. Like, I'm not in the wrong here. It's obviously Kayla's fault. She's the pervert staring down my crack. What do you want from me? I mean, it's just the word ass. An ass can be an animal, for Christ's sake. It's a, it's a donkey. Sorry, Mrs. Stapola. Let me fix this for you. Kayla, stop staring at my donkey. There, is that better? No? Yeah, that actually sounds worse, doesn't it? Shit. Go down to the dean's office, young man. We don't use that language here. So I walk out of the classroom. Everybody's looking at me like I'm Charlie Manson all of a sudden. Oh my god, he said the A word. He's the devil! So I go to the dean's office, and our dean was a guy named Mr. Haldwell. He's this bald guy that was like five foot four. I could never tell how old he was. He was like somewhere between the ages of 29 and 68. And he had the shiniest head I've ever seen on a man. Now, Mr. Haldwell was an asshole. There's no way around it. That's part of his job. He's there to be an asshole to kids because those kids were being assholes in the first place. Fair enough. And he'd call everyone baby boy when he was talking to them, which uh, just made about everybody on the planet uncomfortable. What brings you down here, baby boy? Uh, could you not call me that, please? Wait, wait, don't tell me. You said ass, right? And I'm like, oh, Christ, is that what I'm known for now? I'm the ass kid? What a reputation. So right off the bat, I get suspended from school for a day. But not only that, I also have to go down to the lunchroom and help clean up. So there I was. Got a goddamn hairnet on. I'm pushing a garbage can around. Whoa, why is Tyler dressed up like a lesbian? I don't know, that's weird. Are you finished with your tater tots? Allow me. I have a foul mouth, and this is my penance. Now, it's worth noting that this suspension wasn't a normal suspension. It was a little bit worse. I didn't get to stay home at school the next day and watch Young and the Restless with my mom on TV. No, instead I had to go to a church that was down the street from my school and sit in the basement all day with a police officer. And it wasn't just me, there were a bunch of other derelicts there. Just a bunch of psychopaths all crammed into a room. They all got like dirt mustaches and eye patches and shit. So they make you sit there all day and they force you to do these behavioral worksheets. They ask you pretty simple questions like, Little Timmy is being bullied in class. What should Little Timmy do about that? A, tell the teacher, or B, set the coat room on fire. And I got this weird kid the whole time sitting next to me trying to talk to me. Hey, hey you, I never I've never seen you here before. What did you do? Uh, I told somebody to stop staring at my donkey. My, my ass, I mean. My ass. What, uh, what about you? Oh, I just filled my locker with a bunch of dead puppies. Anyways, hey, what did you get for question number one? I was thinking it's A, but, uh, all these voices in my head keep telling me it's B. I'm like, you know what? I don't need to make any friends here. I have enough friends in life. I'm gonna stop talking to people. So I sat there and did my worksheet, and I turned it in. And you know what they did? They gave me another one. Holy hell, how many of these do I gotta do? Enough to fix your Brain! Okay, well, I think I got a pretty normal brain, all right? I'm not like Jeffrey Dahmer over here, starting a puppy holocaust in his locker. This was one of the longest goddamn days of my life. I just sat there all day, stared at the clock, listening to the psycho stick next to me mumble to himself. Even the cop over there is uncomfortable. He's got, like, his gun out on the desk, just so everybody can see it. Finally, it's 3.15. We're allowed to leave. I'm overjoyed. Oh, yeah, we get to leave? I don't have to talk to a parole officer or anything? I'm out of here? Oh, sweet! I show up to my art class the next day, and I am on my best behavior. I'm not going back to jail, goddammit. I'm over there talking like an English gentleman from here on out. I beg your pardon, Kayla, but if you could avert your eyes from the crevice of my rump, I would just be overjoyous for your patronage. Um, what are you talking about? It means I'd appreciate it if you'd stop staring at my ass crack, okay? Excuse me! Oh, goddammit! BruceDude.com